Hello everyone, I want to introduce you to a good friend of mine to teach you a little bit about epistasis in our natural environment. Alright, here he is. Watson, come here. This is my best friend, Watson. As you can see, Watson is a yellow lab, but he's a little unique. Watson has a little white line down his forehead because Watson is part border collie. So now, how do we get a yellow lab, like Watson here, out of a black lab father? So Watson's father, his name's Max, had to have had a recessive trait in the pigment to be expressed in the hair. So Watson doesn't express pigment in his hair, but if you look at his nose, his nose is brown. Now when he was a puppy, his nose used to be very black. That suggests that he can produce melanin. So there are yellow labs that have a brown nose. That means their pigment for melanin is recessive. Both of those traits, or both of those alleles, are the recessive traits. So little b, little b, homozygous recessive. So Watson, since he had a black nose when he was a baby, was either heterozygous or homozygous dominant for black lab. However, the epistatic trait in this case was whether or not he expressed the pigment in the hair. And since he's a yellow lab, he does not express that pigment. Pigment. Now, since he is mixed with a border collie, he might have some variations that make this go a little different, such as the white stripe he has down the front of his face. But overall, I am pretty sure Watson is homozygous recessive for the characteristic that puts the pigment into the hair follicle. Now the question is, why is Watson's nose turning brown? So if we look at Watson right now, his nose is pretty brown. If we look around his eyes, his eyes also have black rings, and we see his little beautiful lips here, they're also black. That's what tells, that tells me he can produce the pigment melanin. However, his nose is getting brown. Now why is your nose getting brown? This is a trait that sometimes happens in yellow labs. So to produce that black melanin pigment requires an enzyme called tyrosinase. Tyrosinase is part of that enzymatic reaction. Now, as labs get older, they no longer have that ability or they lose that ability to have that active tyrosinase enzyme. So they slowly stop producing that pigment and it's best seen in their nose. Now that doesn't say they don't have that black lab in them anymore. They're not still carrying that gene, but that enzyme just doesn't work as well to deposit that black pigment. Our little student here, Watson, made a great example of epistasis. Watson, smile. Good actors always get their treats.